it's going to be a windy one. We are in a bit of a rush this morning because we have an early day because we have an entire day of boat tours. So we have these passes, which are like press passes, which allow us to arrive a little bit early before the crowds get here. So we're here about 30 minutes before the show starts and try to get on here before it gets packed. Now you might be thinking, Winds, you already have a new boat on the way. Why are you touring boats? Well, mostly because we're curious and we want to see what's new and innovative. Who's thinking beyond the charter market and looking towards the liveaboard who wants to explore the world? Tech space. It's just a thing of beauty. Because last year, when we decided to put our life savings into a new boat, it was because finally there was a boat that ticked all of our boxes. And after the show, it seems our HH44 still is the only sub 50 footer that fits the bill. But if we were looking for something slightly bigger, there are a few new exciting options on the table. Now let's be honest, no boat is perfect in every aspect, and overall we found a lot of hits and misses. But mostly, there were a lot of fantastic concepts that made us very excited about the future of catamarans. Now, the execution may or may not hit the mark, depending on how discerning you are, but the ideas are marvelous, and that's what we're focusing on. And our first boat of the day is the Windelow 54, which is, I believe, the only hybrid electric boat at this show. Don't quote me on that, but it's the only one I've seen. So what's interesting about this garage door style that lifts up like that, it also has a massive sliding door so while you're at sea you can put the garage door down and still have your sliding doors open but when you're out at anchor you put this big garage door up you turn this sofa around and you've got a nice lovely view out on the sea behind you i think it's really creative and inventive and if it's not super windy you can yeah. open up these big side windows. <laughs> yeah all the side windows and then the forward cockpit windows i think it's a really airy boat wow i can feel the sand yeah okay <laughs> Shall we go down real quick? Yeah, it is an intense day. Because of that day bed that is up top, it gives you all of this extra room inside the owner's cabin, which gives you more headroom so that you can have the bed facing this direction and not feel too claustrophobic while you're sitting up in bed. So they really have done so many different little things with this boat that are all very unique concepts. And I think they're, they're great ideas. Like, I really enjoy so many different features on this boat. So it kind of gives you a nice amount of room. You've still got good storage and it just feels really open in here. Continuing on, a little mini washer dryer. Oh yeah. <laughs> got the bathroom there. Dagger boards are inside here. And then you've got your shower and your sink. And now we are into the office area. Now, because these boats are all semi-custom, you can do lots of different things to the layouts. They've got lots of options. This person wanted an office down here, but they still wanted to be able to have extra bunks for when people come. And I think that they've done a really nice job. It looks good. It's nice and tucked up out of the way and still a decent mattress on here. Reading light. Outlet, what more can you ask for? It's a nice desk setup here with this articulating arm. I'm assuming it locks. You can have a computer underneath here, so I could be editing away. It's great. I've said it before, I really like the forward cockpits. This is sort of command central and it is very unique. I haven't seen another boat with a similar setup. I think it's a great position. It's got the, the dual helms. I mean, it's just a load of room up here. It's a very unique concept and I, I really enjoy it. I don't know what it's like out at sea, but I would imagine it would be pretty good. I always like the access to the mast being right here. You can just see everything. We're not gonna stand here very long because the sand is 
just right here and it flows directly this way. It's a... Uh, Exfoliate. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a polish. Oh my gosh, it was flowing in a lotus hand. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, feel bad for the cleaning crew. I do, I feel like they're gonna have to, you know, it's just, which is why they're closing up the boat. They opened it for us just to be able to film everything. And the wind picked up. <laughs> well, I mean, it was already windy, but now it's getting, yeah, oh my gosh. This will be a good day. They're gonna have fun with this one. All these boats, it's gonna be, it's gonna be. <laughs> Very excited to see this next boat because this is the world premiere of the Outremer 52 and they've made a lot of big changes it is a very different layout and a very different boat from their previous models and a lot of positive changes in my personal opinion. Definitely my new favorite nav desk. This is exactly what I want. A comfortable chair, a beautiful view, I can see everywhere, plenty of room for a computer to sit here, access to everything. This is great. This is... <laughs> the working sailor's dream. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> so we're already on this video and it kind of cracks me up how every single boat we step on, we immediately go to the inside nav area and judge it based on whether or not it would be a good office. <laughs> so can you tell that we are ready for home and an office once again? because it has been almost an entire year of us working in places like this. <sighs> but fortunately, it only takes a few things to be able to keep this production running. One is a high-powered computer, the internet, and a really good VPN, which is why we are very thankful to have Surfshark VPN as today's sponsor. Because Surfshark is an app and browser extension that encrypts our data and lets us change our IP address to virtually place ourselves anywhere in the world to unblock websites and content that we couldn't access otherwise. Now, it's a champ for getting around geo restrictions on streaming sites like Amazon Prime, but it's what also allows us to access apps like YouTube. Ecuador is blocking YouTube live chat. Because they are partially or completely blocked in some countries, especially in some of the areas that we're headed to next. And there is a clean web feature, which means that we can surf in a clean cyber ocean with no ads, trackers, malware, or phishing attempts. It's been an invaluable tool for us as travelers. And right now, if you use our discount code WINS, you get an extra three months for free. And if you're not sure if it's a good tool for you, no worries, they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there is no risk to try it out. I will leave a link down in the description box below, or you can scan the QR code that will be somewhere here on the screen. All right, back to the boat show. I'm very excited about all of the modular things going on with the newer boats, which this table can kind of like swivel, turn around, become a smaller table. And then it's like the perfect setup because then they've got a drop down screen that comes over here with a projector. So you've got kind of like your, your movie night vibes. This is the owner's hall. Nice big bathroom. Good size shower. Dagger board here. Aft berth. this with the three different positions you've kind of got a variation of options depending on kind of if you're in just relaxed mode or if you're up here and you're active and coming into a marina or of course you've got foul weather you can move down below and look through the cabin with this new model they really wanted to improve visibility while underway which they've definitely done I think this is really lovely improvement. So whenever you're underway and you wanna kick your feet up for watch, you can actually still be sitting here and you're looking forward instead of facing the back of the boat because this is where you wanna see. So if you're on night watch, you're sitting here having a cup of tea, but you wanna be chill and relax, 
this is going to be really great. Or let's say it's mealtime and you're having lunch. Well, this was definitely an issue on our leopard. If we were all sitting in the cockpit, there was really no way to face forward for the person. I mean, you could, but you couldn't see was the problem. Yeah. And on this one, you're going to sit right here. You can still enjoy lunch, have a nice little view. It's great. They really thought out a lot of different things. And then, of course, you still have your nav desk. And then you've got your three different helm positions, even your cockpit table is and still facing too, that way. The and the tilt legs, every position of the boat almost is kind of facing forward. So you're always seeing what's happening. You're never taking your eye off of what's ahead. Another big change on this 52 is this hardtop. Not only is it large, they've now got more room for solar, but the way that they have designed it, it is raised on the edges so that it collects all of the water, drains down, and then of course you have an option to either fill your tanks or leave it closed. Rain capture! I'm so excited to see this on more boats! One last thing on the hardtop, by collecting all of that water, it also means that it's not consistently running down the sides and into the cockpit and getting everything wet. So you're going to stay a lot drier because of the rain capture. If you like the Windelow and the new Outremere 52, then you'll definitely want to check out the new HH52. With EcoDrive, over 4,600 watts of solar, a forward cockpit, and drool-worthy tiller chairs. Now, we already made a video all about it last week, so I won't wax on about it again. Now, we stepped aboard a lot of different boats, and while these next two don't necessarily tick all this sailor's boxes, they are very impressive vessels worth highlighting because there's a boat for every type of sailor. It is a cool view from down here, and then you've got the, uh, the tiller. I think this pretty much sums up this boat. Dyneema lines to hold on to while you're sailing. This thing is built for performance first before, like, luxury and comfort. It's a gigantic winch and cam cleats here. This is definitely a sailor's boat. It's beefy. Yeah. The sail must be huge. That's like a 40 knot day at sea. <laughs> This is sort of a purist boat, right? Like sailing first. And it's not about going super fast, they said. It's about just maintaining a really good clip. So it is a performance boat, but kind of a sailor's first boat. So sailing is the first priority. And they said it's also about keeping everything super, super simple, right? So you don't have headliners and all that kind of thing. Everything is kind of very minimalist. This is definitely a minimalist boat, right? Then they can keep adding on things and so everything's semi-custom, but they prefer to keep them very simple. This is very different, the finish out for the drawers. They've done a little piece of clear acrylic on the outside. It's very um, sporty because of the color. Definitely kind of race boaty. It's good visibility from the inside nav. I wonder if they did that extra large for doing laundry. Uh, mm. It's a good idea if so. In the shower. The shower is huge too. Wait for it, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Everything in this boat is all about saving weight, right? It's not about luxury, it's about practicality. Not a bad size cabin for 50 feet. These floors are super lightweight and you can tell pretty basic builds there. 
They really do keep everything simple from the floors with like the Kiwi grip style to the ceiling with really no coverings and you're seeing everything. But the good news is if you have a crack, you see everything. You see everything. Right? Yeah. The next boat we're going on is a C48. It's a little bit smaller than the others, but it's still really unique and worth checking out. The connection bar, rather, to rather. The first thing you get to is the helm station, so we'll just start right here. I'm. I would need a stool. <laughs> Over here. It's funny because in the beginning when we were very first boat shopping, I never looked at like the aft helm stations. You know, we always thought we wanted in or the just slightly raised. And now that I've gotten used to this, I'm preferring these helm stations. I like it closer out to the side. I like being able to look down the deck. It's just funny how you kind of change as you get going and everybody's preferences will be totally different and none of them are right or wrong. It's just what works for you? What do you like the most? What do you enjoy the most? And I, I really kind of dig these. So I'm excited about our 44, but I, I have a tendency to like all the other boats that are kind of set up with something similar. This is interesting. It's the main winch for everything on the mast, the reefing, the halyard, also the staysail. So everything runs right back here so you can manage the boat from this one spot, protected. Uh, it seems to be a theme. Everybody's going with stuff where you can be protected from the elements while you're sailing. That's pretty cool. But you can also have totally exposed. So you get both. I like it. So this is an Italian builder that builds out of Rome and it's the first time we've seen one and it's it's quite nice. They build everything apparently. All the furniture, even the sliding glass doors, the stainless, pretty much everything you see in here they say they build at their factory, which is really neat. One thing you can always rely on the Italians for is really great design and I really dig these faucets. I know that has nothing to do with sailing or the function of the <laughs> boat, but it does look really cool. It is like this soft touch rubber. It's a unique feature and it, it looks very slick. Continuing on the theme of great design and details, these poles are also very unique and if you ever have a problem with one, it's just tied off from the inside. So be very easy to repair. Everything in this boat is real wood. It's not laminate, so it all does have a really nice look and feel to it. Space in the hall is good. So this would be the owner's side with a much bigger bathroom and shower. And a little mini washer and a space for laundry. You rarely see that in a boat. So this boat is another semi-custom boat, meaning you can change the layout. There's going to be a lot of different options and pretty much sky's the limit, but there's always a limit. <laughs> <laughs> Including in this cabin, they can turn the bed sideways if you'd like it to be even bigger. And they're working on an option for an island bed in here. I have no idea how they're going to achieve that, <laughs> but I will be very interested to see the final product. Why are you also have good subs? Okay, I can also wet up. Yes, guest side. Dagger boards here. Okay. Head <laughs> here. Uh, here you can see the engine room. Ah, and the shower. I didn't see it. This is the difficult thing about trying to make a review or showing just one boat on these semi custom boats because they can do anything. I mean, this whole bathroom could probably be turned into a shower or like one of the cabins could be turned into a shower if you wanted for some reason so it it's so difficult to to talk about the features that each of these boats have because they are so unique and while i can say the shower is small for me i also kind of get it you get a bigger bathroom you're not stuck with a you know a coffin to go to the bathroom in which i think i prefer that and have a small shower just continuing on the semi-custom theme, you can turn this forward cabin into bunk beds or into an office or a workspace. So lots of different options. And engine access. 
You can even choose a sail drive or a shaft drive, and you can choose where you want this engine. Maybe you don't want it underneath the beds, maybe you prefer it in the outside locker. It really sounds like they'll kind of customize the boat to whatever your needs and wants are. Like a very unique <laughs> feature. This looks like it probably telescopes up. Yeah. Yeah. An outdoor shower on the front of the deck, something I have never seen before. But again, whatever you want, they can make for you. <laughs> So the show's almost over and it's been just an incredible show because it's just multi-holes. It's super calm, There's, it's easy to get onto a boat. It's so different than like the craziness, the chaos that is like the Miami boat show or what people say like the right. Annapolis just, boat it's show. It's just but, a totally different yeah. vibe all together. But we've had a really good time and shockingly, and I know this is gonna sound terrible, but they've all been really excited to see us. They're like, oh, Americans, we're so happy you're here. And I just didn't expect that from the French. No offense, but they've been very <laughs> lovely and super welcoming. And I don't, that just took me by surprise. Not that they're not lovely people, but sometimes as we travel about, we can get a little bit of a hesitation. You know, they're like, oh, Americans, here they come. But, <laughs> We didn't have that at all here. It was really awesome. So we've actually had a really good time at the show. This is not sponsored by the way. Yeah. We have no affiliation with the show. I just thought it was a really great show. We've had three solid days. We've talked to a lot of owners. We've talked to a lot of people buying and looking. We've talked to the builders. We've spent so much time in all the different boats. Talking There's... technology and like yeah. what's coming down the pipeline. It's and... changing so fast. So if you were looking for a boat five years ago and you're still looking now, it's so different than it was even just a year ago. Yeah, there's just a lot to, I think, be excited about. I've been really impressed. It felt like good changes happening. I mean, there's still, of course, there's some you walk on, you're like, oh, more, same, same, you yeah. know, but there's there has been a lot of good, exciting stuff. It's been fun for us. My arm's getting tired. I know. We're going to wrap this up. Yeah, so thanks for joining us. Hopefully you saw some interesting things. Um, obviously, we didn't do tours of all of the boats. Or full tours. Yeah, yeah, couldn't. just not enough time in the day. But anyway, hopefully it's given you some food for thought if you're in the market or just curious. Yeah, all right. Lots of love. Bye, guys. Bye! Bye. 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 <laughs>